The U.S. Air Force is looking for a new multi-purpose fighter aircraft to replace its aging F-16 fleet, while stressing that it would not have the same high price tag and technical capabilities as the F-35. Welcome back to Future Warplanes, your go-to source for warplane information. Quick reminder, subscribing is free, linking the video helps YouTube suggest similar videos. Comments are loved and featured in upcoming videos. The Chief of Staff of the U.S. Air Force, General Brown, recently made the statement that the Air Force would be buying a brand new fighter aircraft of the fifth generation to replace the hundreds of F-16s that were built during the Cold War as well as the unreliable F-35. This news sparked a lot of debate. Brown believes that the U.S. Air Force does not only need the NGAD sixth generation aircraft, it is important to have a reasonably priced and lightweight fighter or an improved combination of expensive fifth generation aircraft such as F-22s or F-35s that can be made cheaper, lighter, and quicker to almost completely be invisible for enemies. As part of its plan to significantly alter its fighter jet procurement policy, the U.S. Air Force is developing a new plan that could require industry to start building and manufacturing a new fighter in the coming years. They have said that they need a new multi-purpose fighter aircraft in order to replace its old fleet of F-16s. In other words, it would be a fifth-generation fighter aircraft without the emphasis on stealth, which would make it lighter and less costly. It would be easier and quicker to update, and it would not be required to incorporate such sophisticated features. A jet like this does not yet exist, but with the help of recent developments in digital engineering, it may be possible for it to go into service before the year 2030. Hushkit, an alternative aviation magazine, has put together a team of professionals to create a replacement for the F-16. Now, Hushkit experts have created a potential fighter, named the F-36 Kingsnake, that meets all of the Air Force's requirements. The most recent information is that the aviation magazine Hushkit has assembled a team of knowledgeable individuals to build a potential F-16 replacement. Hushkit huddled with aviation experts Stephen McParlin and James Smith, who were instrumental in the development of many aircraft, including the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter and the Eurofighter Typhoon. Then, Teasel studio artist Andy Godfrey used their ideas to create the concept art for the F-36 fighter jet. According to Teasel Studio Modeling, the slightly less than fifth generation Kingsnake will be lightweight and put little emphasis on stealth technology. The F-36 was designed by Hushkit based on General Brown's demands for a lightweight, affordable fighter that does not prioritize stealth. An internal weapons compartment would be standard on the F-36 just as it is on the F-35. Additionally, it could carry weaponry on hardpoints installed on the wings of the aircraft. The requirement for a sub-fifth generation fighter isn't set in stone yet, but the Air Force will make up its mind by 2023. Where did the name King Snake originally come from? The F-36's name derives from King Snakes, which are long-lived North American snakes that may live up to 30 years, which bodes well for the F-36's service life. King Snakes receive their name from their habit of eating other snakes which is a suitable nickname for a fighter built to take the place of the Viper. Also, these snakes tend to eat other snakes, which also suits a fighter that would replace the current Viper fighter. King Snake is expected to utilize the F-22's engine to attain and maintain Mach 2.0 speeds, as well as the radar system seen in the newest F-16 models. Now let's talk about its shape, design of wings, and cockpit. In terms of the design of the plane, it might have a design with a lesser density, surplus volume, and surplus electrical generation, which restricted onboard machine intelligence and maximum data, linking the plane fuselage from the use of 3D printing and reduced dependence on traditional manufacturing methods. A lower density design with surplus volume, surplus electrical generation, and less reliance on low radar signature than the F-35 or F-22 is also suggested. The wing was designed using the F-16XL as its primary source of inspiration. The inboard region of the cranked arrow has enhanced sweep back, which results in a powerful high-lift vortex that does not need the usage of a four-plane configuration. The wing is effective at high speeds, resulting in a fighter that is quicker than the F-35 for missions beyond the visible range. This is an advantage, since the F-35's slowness is a negative. The wing also provides other advantages. When it comes to agility, the large wing will provide a great instantaneous turn rate and the energy maneuverability should be quite high thanks to the low wave drag and excellent TW ratio. Since the major design objective was to improve BVR, sustained turn performance was given a lower priority. The internal armaments are stored in bays that are curved into the lower wing fillets and are located in the intake trunking. The most likely weaponry would be air-to-air -air missiles of the newest generation with a large range. 
There are several aspects of the F-35's cockpit design that may have been a touch ahead of their time. Pilots have criticized it for not having a heads-up display as well as for the lack of feel and instability of typed instructions that are related to its touchscreen-centric approach. The F-36 cockpit will solve both of these issues and will be equipped with a widescreen HUD in addition to a joint helmet-mounted queuing system, which is a more cost-effective alternative to the F-35 helmet system. F-36 A Multi-Role Fighter According to popular theories, the King Snake will be a multi-role fighter that will be very similar to the F-16. It will be able to do air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions, and it will be equipped with missiles and guided bombs would be carried in the same internal bays as non-stealthy aircraft, and both would be carried on external hardpoints mounted to the wings. The King Snake would also have a rifle, which would let it to strafe assaults, as well as a mounted cannon fully equipped with modern infrared missiles, nearly ensuring a kill before fighters reach the merging. The F-36 was designed with the goals of having a rapid development time, being affordable, and having the capability of incorporating new technology at a later date. Reusing technology that is already in existence would speed up the process. To reach its maximum speed of Mach 2, for instance, the F-36 employs the afterburning turbofan engine originally designed for the F-22 Raptor. The King Snake is equipped with an AN-APG-83 advanced electronically scanned array radar, similar to the one used in the newest F-16, as well as an infrared sensor system adapted from the Legion electro-optical targeting pod. A Luddite Tsar would prevent new technologies from creeping into the jet, drawing out the jet's development time and increasing the likelihood King Snake would fall behind. The average age of the Air Force's 783 F-16C fighter planes is 28.7 years, ruling out a 20-year development time for a new plane. Instead, the experts pushed for a fast design process that would fix the plane's specifications within a year rely on straightforward building methods, and make use of cutting-edge technology like as 3D printing only if they help speed up the process of getting the fighter off the assembly lines. The F-35 and the F-22 both have had more advanced technological capabilities than the U.S. Air Force needs for the vast majority of its day-to-day -day operations. They are very time-consuming and expensive to maintain, run, and improve. The F-16 has to be replaced by a fighter that is both economical and lightweight, according to the Chief of Staff of the U.S. Air Force, General Charles Brown, Jr. It must be able to be developed and upgraded more quickly than the F-35, and it need not have quite as many complex technological advancements. Due to its lack of stealth capabilities, it would have external hardpoints that may be used for external payloads. Also, it would be equipped with a powerful cannon that could offer close air support to ground forces if it was required to do so. The success of this new aircraft depends on how quickly its design can be developed and how well it can accommodate the most cutting-edge technology when they become available in the future. By 2023, the Air Force is anticipated to have streamlined its performance goals for the Kingsnake and set dates for when manufacturing would begin. In summary, it is the shortest, most basic manufacturing line based on current technologies and components, which would undoubtedly cut production costs and development time. If the proposal is accepted, the goal is to have the aircraft in the air as soon as possible, maybe even before 2030. That concludes today's video. We sincerely hope you have found the video entertaining. Please leave any questions or comments below. Remember to subscribe to our channel to view more of our amazing videos.